If you want to take your business to the next level, but you're struggling with challenges around marketing, sales, or even service delivery, I have some really, really good news for you. And this is something that most business coaches will never tell you. You actually have a superpower built in. And that superpower is your connection to your higher self. And the more connected you are to your higher self, the more confident you are going to be in your marketing, in your sales, in your service delivery, and especially in your leadership if you're currently leading a team. So this is exactly what we discussed, myself and my client, in our last session, her connection to her higher self, her trust that things will work out, but more importantly, her trust and her ability to adapt, to grow, and to handle any challenge that the business is going through. This is actually a huge part of my coaching, and it's really the main reason why my clients get results like this. So if you're excited, let's dive straight into this conversation so you can model everything that my client is currently doing and everything that I've shared with her in this conversation to take things to the next level with a lot less effort. What's going to make this call exceptionally valuable for you? I think where I enjoyed my time most and I felt that it was most fruitful last week was um, like connecting with that higher version of me that you've had me do before. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of working with that energy and getting getting that energy a bit clearer, a bit more accessible, I think that's been the most valuable thing. Um, in terms of like, like application tasks and stuff like that, I feel like I'm pretty clear, um, but I'd love some more work around that if possible. Well, I'm, I'm seeing that version of you more and more every time we meet. Mm. You That's might think, nice you. yeah, it's like, you might not observe it. It's just like, you know, we watching our, our pup grow. For us, he looks more or less the same, but like people see him, oh my God, he's so big. Yeah. Or you look at him in comparison to other dogs and you, you know, like what he was like when um, when he was younger, that was kind of the same size, and now like he's twice as tall, right? Yeah. You don't notice it, but I do like from week to week. And it's like small things, like even just wearing your hair differently. Okay. Which you are. Okay. Mm. Right? Okay. Your energy is a lot more, is a lot more centered, confident, more powerful. So you're being that more and more. So yeah. maybe the question is, if we can get a bit more specific, is there an area where you want to be more of that or do you want to accelerate the, pro the process? Good question. Um, accelerating the process. feels great. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any specific areas that I want to kind of draw in more. I think it's just more of that, like, ensuring that's the energy that I'm in before I take any external action. Um, and just kind of strengthening that as a muscle, I think. Yeah, it's wise to have this habit of before you start doing something, to ask yourself, like, from 1 to 10, who am I being right now? Am I being that version of me? Mm. Yeah. It's tricky. You get uh, caught up with doing with the doing, and you kind of tend to forget. Yeah. But the thing is, after a certain point, it just becomes, you don't need to do it anymore. Yeah. Because that's yeah. just who you are, you know? And there's mm -hmm. no rush. And there is no rush, is that what you said? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to kind of bring that conscious awareness in when I'm not feeling great. Like, obviously, last week I was um, kind of sick. And um, 
then today I just woke up feeling like shit. You know, like just in the middle of the night, just absolutely cracking headache mm -hmm. and uh, just trying to work out, okay, so do I stop or do I push through? Mm -hmm. And trying to work out how best to kind of, I want to listen to my body, but I also want to keep the fucking progress. Like there's a lot that I want to be doing. Right. The, the answers tend to come faster when you're prioritizing being overdoing. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, the fact that we're in this call, that you, you know, that you found me had nothing to do, had less to do with me um, doing stuff. And more with being yeah. sure i ran some ads but i have no idea how you maybe you saw an ad maybe you started watching some of my content and then you you booked a time right but it had more to do with me being than doing um you need yeah. both you know what let's dive deeper let's actually connect to your higher self and let's see exactly where should we uh operate where should we focus on okay cool okay close your eyes for a bit breathe in and breathe out now fill up the space around you with the energy of your highest power, your highest expression of self. Bless your space with love, joy, and abundance. And notice that the path, the communication with your higher self is clear. Now ask your higher self, what is the next step? towards you embodying the highest version of you. Okay, one word straight away was just delegation. Beautiful. Now ask your higher self, what is the next step towards effortless financial abundance? Again, just, just one word straight away just adds. Beautiful. Looks like you have a very marketer and business-wise higher self. <laughs> I think the energy there was like everything on, like everything's ready yeah. and it's just a matter of connecting to people is yep. the feeling that I get there. Is like, so just extend the reach with ads and I think just trust in that process. Love it. Thank your higher self. Thank yourself. 
thing, all aspects and versions of you. Breathe in this energy, breathe in this wisdom. And breathe out all remaining limitations. Good. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Mm. Okay. That was very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, higher self. Good. What are you getting right now? I think it's looking at the kind of, okay, so this is where I'm like, I go into that trust and then I come back into kind of regular conscious awareness. And then I'm like, ah, but there's so many options. And rather than just drilling down to focus specifically, it's like, I'm kind of skipping around between things. Just kind of observing the um, limitation there. Same can be said about partners, right? Well, how do you have a happy marriage? How do you have a happy marriage? Are you married? You go for it. You say no to all the rest of the bitches. <laughs> was that Buddha or? I think it was <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, say no. Right. I mean, it's impossible to have a, to create a long term relationship or create a successful anything without saying no more than you say yes. Yeah, that's valid. I think I've kind of got back into that zone of like things are feeling exciting and I want to do a lot of things and it's like you've got to get fucking good at prioritizing like better at prioritizing it's it's less prioritizing it's more focus doing okay. less less is more okay but like better less is more right so the idea is getting that excitement that variation that um spontaneity from the things that you're consistently doing the one strategy that you're using every day or satisfying your need for excitement outside of the business right because we all have like the six basic needs right certainty um variety or whatever uh, the fuck it was yeah. called um so satisfy your need from for certainty from being laser focused in the business satisfy your need for variety by enjoying life outside of the business and doing a lot of exciting new different things right Otherwise, it's just like, okay, I'm building a house. Today, I'm using bricks. Tomorrow, I'm using plastic. The day after, I'm using whatever mud, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's coming through? I think that I'm trying to choose which task to do not connected to my higher self. I'm trying to go, okay, so logically, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, that's not the fucking process. You need like, both. You need both. I don't think that logically they all work and logically they're all going to be valuable in terms of the big projects that I have 
on at the moment. Right. But it's, I think that where the guidance comes in is what's next, the next step. We need both, but yes, following what the higher self is saying, you know, is useful because your higher self is like the GPS. It has the, the higher perspective. So it's not, it's never about discarding one or the other. Like it's like the way from what I understand it, even from Bashar, the way to connect faster with your higher self is to have that, to step back and have that observer mindset. That's the in between, between the physical mind, and the higher mind, right? And guess what? The observer mindset is also the business owner mindset, because what do you do as a business owner? What is your single job? Not necessarily the execution, that's part of it, but your highest job is stepping back, looking at the business as a whole and making small tweaks, small adjustments, and sometimes making no adjustments because you just need to, or rather just improve on what you're doing, right? Yeah. Find better ways to, to optimize what you're doing. That's the observer self, the, the business owner mindset. Okay. So when you are in the business owner mindset, you are automatically more connected to your higher self. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So rather than just going with whatever, you know, you think life is, is saying to do, or okay, I have to do this, step back and see, do I really? Okay, I like that. How I've been playing with it between sessions is like, so I connect in, get that kind of higher perspective. I've completely lost where I was going with that. Hmm. What you were doing between it. sessions, getting that higher perspective. Hmm. Yeah, I know where I was, but I've just completely forgot where I was fucking going with it. Jesus. It happens. 20 years of marijuana, eh? What are you going to do? Um, what the fuck was I saying with that? It will come back. I think just along the line of, I feel... Yeah, I'm finding that super beneficial, the stepping back and looking, but I'm still... Like there's several things that I'm kind of pulled toward at the minute and that I would like to be doing, but I know that that's also not the best use of my time to spread it like that. It's more like, okay, so focus in. Um, and just that reminder to just fucking do that really. Look, as long as you've done the business builders, you start your day with the business builders. That's one of the core principles of the business owner mindset. Start with the uncomfortable. And that might just be doing the same shit every day. Yeah. You eat the frog first. You've, you're done with the things that you are focused, that you know you need to be focused on. Then you have time to play and fuck around and do whatever you like and explore different other things. But it takes that level of discipline and, and maturity yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Otherwise, you're just killing your vision. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. And just the busy work does not get me nearly as much result. And it tires me out. So it's like, well, it's just fucking pointless. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like, do, do the business builder first. And then replace busy work for the sake of being busy with exciting work and see what I'm what am I actually really excited to do right now look yeah I start my day with with what's my I get super clear on what's my most profitable task for the day and then what's the task that I'm super passionate about today right okay. so I start the day with the profit generator yep but I also do the things I'm passionate about that are not necessarily making a, a profit yet. So I'm satisfying both, the mind and the heart. But I have to start my day with the things that I know I need to be focused on because that's when I have the most willpower. If I don't, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, that's valid. Cool, thank you. Cool. Okay, yeah, thank you.
Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what were your most valuable insights. If you'd like to have a similar experience, I'm actually giving away two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. They're absolutely free where we elevate your marketing, your sales, in other words, your ability to close with a lot more ease, handle objections elegantly, and more importantly, your mindset. So you can create more high paying clients with a lot less effort. If that's fun and interesting for you, there's a link below. Here's someone who has had this free 14 day experience. What's going on everybody? My name is Micah. I'm a copywriter and I just wanted to leave a quick review of Bogdan Rosu's 14 day free program. I've got to say, I was extremely impressed by this program. On our first couple calls together, the amount of insight and actionable information that Vogdan was willing to go over with me for free trumps just about anything I've learned from any other paid program I've been part of before. If you've enjoyed this video, you're probably going to find this video super valuable too.